Okay guys, so welcome back again. So from this video onwards, we'll be doing a series on role-based access control using Node.js. And for those of you who don't know that what role-based access control mean, I would be explaining that later on in the video. But for now, let me demo the application that we are going to build in this series. And before we continue, do try Z at once because it is the fastest and easiest way to deploy your applications or Docker images. You can sign up from the first link in the description below and you'll get one project free forever. So as we see that currently we are on the home page and we are see this page here and if we click register, we are taken to the register page and if we click on login, we are taken to the login page here. So let me try to register one user. So let's say we want to register John Doe at gmail.com and his password would be 123 and 123. But let me provide in the wrong password here just to demo the application. So if we provide in the wrong password here, we'll see that we get passwords do not match and we get back the same user that we were trying to register in the register page again. And now let me put in the correct password that is 123 and pass confirm password would be again 123. And now let me click on register here. We see that user email already exists. So let me try registering another user that is do at gmail.com password would be 12 and confirm password would be again 12. So now let me click on register again. We see that this user has been registered successfully and now we can log in and we are taken to the login page. So we can log in with this user here that is do at gmail.com password would be 123. Let me try to it's an incorrect password so it should be do at gmail.com password was 12 I suppose. So let me click on login now. So we see that the nav bar has been changed accordingly and now we are not seeing that register and login button here but instead we are seeing two other apps here that is the profile tab and the logout tab. So if we click on logout it will simply log out the user. So let's go to the profile page here and here we see the simple uh, simply the id of the user that is this do at gmail.com the email or the username of the user the role of the user that is client and the user object itself. So if we click on logout and we try to log in with the admin, admin user here. So I have created one admin user from before that is admin at gmail.com and password is 12 I suppose. And we see now we are seeing four tabs on the nav bar here that is the home profile manage users and logout. Profile basically shows the profile of the administrator that is the admin user here that is admin at gmail.com and we see the role is admin here and we have the simple user object here that is coming from the database itself. And now what admin can do he can manage other users also that is he can change the role of other users also. So we have these many users registered inside our application and this yeah this user has a role of moderator here, admin has a role of admin itself and John Doe and so on and so forth have the role of client. So whatever we want to change the role of this do at gmail.com that we just registered to moderator, we can simply select moderator here and we can click on update here. And we see that we have updated the role for do at gmail.com to moderator and we see here that a drop down has been changed to moderator itself. So now let's uh, so now let me change his role to admin itself that is do at gmail.com to admin itself and now if we click update then we we see that the dos at gmail.com has been updated to the admin role and if we click on the do at gmail.com profile we see that we are getting his profile that is do at gmail.com and his role is admin and we can go back from by clicking that button here and if we click on any other profile or let me click on this profile that is truly at gmail.com we see that the role is moderator and now let me log out from this user and let me log in again back from do at gmail.com or before doing that let me show you one more thing that is if admin tries to change his role from admin to something other then he wouldn't be able to do so that is update role so it says that ask another admin to remove you because admins cannot remove themselves from admin and it is for a reason i am doing it so so let me change this role that is do at gmail.com to client or let me log out again here and let me log in back from do at gmail.com password was 123 oh, it was 12 do at gmail.com so we see that we have this manage users tab for this user here that is do at gmail.com because now he is an admin and not a simply a client and all the users that are registered defaultly are registered as clients 
and now we see that if we want to change the role of admin we can change the role here that is update here and now we see that the admin can change the role and why is it so that admins cannot change their role it is because now suppose in our application we have only these many users registered and we only have a single admin so now what if admin wants to change his role he wants to change his role to moderator but he is not able to do so because if there is no admin inside our application then your account will get logged out and you cannot manage your users so that is why i have made it so that only admins can change another admins role so this is how it works so now let me update admin back to admin again so now let me show you one more thing let me log out from this application or before logging out let me go to the profile page of this user here that is localhost port forward slash user and forward slash profile so let me copy this link from here and now let me click on log out so now let me go to the home page here and now let's suppose we are not simply logged in right now and if we want to go to this profile here that is user forward slash profile page then we are taking back to that login page and if we try to log in from any user so that is admin at uh, or let me log in from truly at gmail.com and password was one two then we see that we are taken back to the profile page here that is the user's profile page but mostly people or mostly tutorials don't tell you that how to do this the kind of functionality that is to take back the user to the requested page when he was not logged in after logging in so that's also what you are going to learn and this is basically a cheat sheet or the reference that what what all you are going to learn basically we'll be building this application on express.js then we'll be using the EGS templating engine and for the styling I'm using custom CSS though you are most welcome to use any styling you like that is you can use the bootstrap framework or the Burma framework or the tailwind CSS or whatever you like and for authentication we'll be using the passport library with local authentication and basically local authentication simply means that we are going to use email and password authentication that is the user has email and password and for the demonstration purposes of this uh, tutorial that is the rbac we will be making roles such as admin the moderator and the client though you can have n number of roles here you can have five roles here you can have 10 roles here but here i am only having three roles that is the admin the moderator and the client and then we also have authorization here that is admin can only see admin routes the moderator can see only moderator routes and the user can see only the user routes or the client routes then for the database we are using mongodb and we'll be using it with mongoose that is an orm for mongodb and then we'll be using express sessions and then i'll be also telling you that is how to use sessions to persist login after the server is rebooted using the mongo store and then i've explained this to you that is redirect to the same page after login so that is already i've demoed here we'll be doing validation using the express validator that is if passwords don't match or the email is not an email or so then we'll be also implementing flash messages which you saw that the user has been registered and so and so forth and then how to handle the http errors that is 403 or 404 or etc and mostly there are some things that I am unable to include in this list. So there would be always something extra. So this is what you are going to build in this series. And now one thing more that is I have divided this tutorial series into separate parts. That is if you want to learn only Passport.js local authentication that is using email and password, then you can do so because that is the first step in creating RBAC. And then secondly, after implementing local authentication, we'll be moving ahead and implementing validator inside our application. And in this application, we'll be using express validator. So that is the second part that is how to validate input. And then the thirdly, finally, we will be implementing the role based access control. That is the roles for all the users that we have inside our application. So now for those of you who don't know that what role based access control means, it is very simple to understand that is for example, suppose you are going to make an e-commerce application and there you would have users who would be buying from, from your website. So now users can have access to certain routes. That is users cannot add products to your e-commerce application. Only the administrator can add products to the site, but not the users and not the moderators. And now suppose a user buys something from your site, then he creates an order. Then what users can see? The users can only see their orders and not orders of others. But what moderator can do? 
he can see orders of all the users who have made purchase on your site so this is the basic idea behind rule based access control that is we have authorized routes that is the routes which which are only accessible by admin the routes which are only accessible by moderator and the remaining routes which are accessible by the user so this is how rule based access control works and still if it does not make sense then do watch the series and you will be get the hang of that why do you need a rule based access control because typically in every web application which you are going to make in your life you need rule based access control you cannot simply have a local authentication and then you can run your website or run your app so guys that's all about this video so if you have liked the video do hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe to the channel so thank you bye bye tata take care and have a great day and a good day